Skinner guys more or less got their start here and Jimmy worked with them in this building and also at another studio. But uh, when they uh, left to go to work with Al Cooper in uh, uh, at Atlanta, the tapes that Jimmy had done, everybody had turned down. And uh, I think one of the reasons why uh, they had turned it down is the, the manager of the group or something was taking the tape around and somehow he had gotten the tape twisted on the reel. And so everywhere they'd go and play the tape, it was real muffled. It was real muffled. muffled I mean, it was playing playing the wrong side of the playing tape. Playing the wrong side of the tape. And, and, and the Skinner boys thought that uh, Jimmy or somebody had done something to sabotage their music because they couldn't understand why it sounded so bad everywhere they would go play it. And the, the uh, manager, bless his heart, just didn't really know. And uh, so it was turned down by everyone. I mean, Freebird, all these songs were recorded with yeah. in this studio first. Uh, and uh, But Al Cooper did help their arrangements and help the sound and help the group grow. But uh, they were a little mad at us for a while, or mad at Jimmy, I think, for a while, because they thought that something... The quality, the, the quality had been, had been yeah. uh, tampered with or had been sabotaged somehow, and they were a little mad about it. Then they later on they found out what had happened and they made tape up with, was on the wrong side. They made up and talked to Jimmy <laughs> and made up and everything was all right. And then after that they called and said, "Well, we put you in our, our song," but there was no huge response on our part or anybody else's part at mm -hmm. first. Nobody knew what the Swampers were. You know, they, nobody knew who they were talking about when they said Muscle Shoals has the Swampers. And it's only after. 20 or so years now that people now, I guess, know that the Swampers were us. <laughs>